Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys what I will be taking with me to the hospital for myself and baby girl. This is the diaper bag that I will be taking for her. This one is the Petunia Pickle Bottom diaper bag. It does also have one of these straps in the back so you can put it on a luggage if you were going to be taking it or traveling. It does come with a couple pockets in the front. The first one in the front is a long pocket. There is also this one on the side. So I think this one you can put maybe like a baby bottle. Put this one here in the back. The first thing that I will be taking for baby is her pacifier my first two boys did use a pacifier my third boy did not he did use it for a couple first two weeks and then he just didn't care for it oh so the little unicorn i did get at target and this little outfit that she is wearing i did buy on amazon they have a couple little outfits you can purchase they had a fireman and a police police one also a military jacket one next thing that i will be taking i put in here in the front pocket it's like a birth announcement this one i did buy on etsy and that is her name valencia middle name jennifer i love how it has a little bow here and it's a good size i think it's a little or the size of my hand it's very cute has date time weight and length I do want to show you guys her car seat cover. This one I got on Amazon. It's called UFOs or UFOS. It does have a little magnet in the top, all on the top. And then it'll close like that. Oh, it has three magnets. There's also a zipper pocket here in the front. You can put some stuff in there. Not a lot, of course. You could also remove the whole thing and just have this on it. Remove half of it so it's just... So you can see her head and the bottom is covered. She's not cold. Next thing that I packed for baby girl are some burp cloths. I am going to be taking two in case one does get dirty. I will be taking some mittens and socks. Two pair of mittens and one pair of socks. All of her sleepers will be covering her feet so she doesn't really need much socks. And then two mittens, one to take home, one when she goes home and then one for when she is at the hospital. These are her hats and then her two bows here. This one I got on Etsy, Etsy. This one was uh, Amazon. This one did take a while to arrive. And then I think this one was on Amazon. Her first sleeper that she will be wearing is this one after she takes her first bath. And that is her hat to match. She also will be wearing this little onesie underneath and then this is her swaddle that we got custom for her this one i did get on etsy has a little carriage just a bunch of girly things shoes a wand princess castle very princessy this one they also have a matching hat but i wanted to have her wear this one instead Got her this custom blanket on Etsy. This is the same print as her swaddle blanket. It is super soft. It's not that big, so it doesn't take up much space in her diaper bag. This is her other sleeper. It's a Barbie one. This one I did get on Posh Peanut. And with that, I also packed a little onesie. Here is another sleeper. This one's a very soft. And then here is her onesie. I'm all over the place here. Um, with her Barbie sleeper, I got this one to match with the unicorn sleeper that I got from Walmart. And uh, this one is for her to put on to match her coming home outfit i did pack everything in here that way i'm not looking up everywhere in her bag for her coming home outfit 
this is a onesie I will be using underneath her clothes here. So I packed two socks. I did pack two socks. I'm not sure which one's going to fit her. I packed these little ones and then these white ones. If it is cold, I'm just going to put these on. And this is her outfit that she will be wearing when she does go home. It also comes with these little underwears to go underneath. This is her bow that she will be wearing. Really cute. That's everything that I packed for baby girl. I will write down in the description everything that I did put in here so it's easier for you guys to remember and don't have to look back. Also, these little bags I did get on Amazon. It came in a set of three, a large, medium, and a small one. Now with what I will be packing with me, this is the bag I will be taking. It's just a guest bag. I usually bring my mommy bag, but it's very huge. It's like a big thing here is my blanket. This one I just got at Walmart. My husband will also be taking one. So he's comfortable and not cold. It does get cold there and the blankets there are uncomfortable for me every time. Next thing I'll be taking is a thin organizer. I don't want to have, I don't want to bring anything too bulky. So I picked this one out so I can put all of her documents. If I need to purchase another one, I will buy it. But for now, I will use that one my wallet here with you know your id insurance and things like that i will be bringing some slippers these i actually found at hobby lobby on my way to go check out and i saw these it was like in a wedding section i am a medium but i did get a size large extra large and they actually fit good i don't i don't know if it's because my feet are a little maybe they are swollen can't really tell but yeah, I got these and I think they were like $10. So you do need to bring some slippers or sandals, anything. I am also going to be bringing a pair of socks. They do recommend those socks to have those little rub rubber things here. But because I am bringing slippers, it's okay to bring these socks. If you're not going to be bringing slippers, bring the socks to have those rubber things so you don't slip. I will be bringing a couple of snacks, some gushers. These cupcakes here, I always bring these because I always crave these after, I don't know why, and chocolate chip cookies. I will be sharing. I'm not eating all this. This is one for me, one for my husband. Next thing I will be taking is a hairbrush. This I'm going to throw away after we leave the hospital as well as everything here. I'm just going to go to the trash afterwards. Um, so with this, it came with a shampoo, conditioner, a deodorant, some hand sanitizer, toothpaste, toothbrush, and oh, I have some hair, and this little thing to floss. I did purchase this separate, some mouthwash. That was from Walmart. They do have everything. They even have cooling stuff, but I prefer this one. It feels really nice. Everything else I just use that they give to me. The next thing I packed is two pair of pajamas. This is the first one. This one I did get on Amazon in a size small. Next pajamas here is this Barbie one to match. With baby girl, comes with these pants. If I am bleeding a lot, then I'll just keep wearing this one. And they also have those nightgowns at the hospital. So if I need to, I could just use theirs. For my coming home outfit, I just packed a t-shirt. This one I got at Walmart, I mean Target. And I also packed one bra. Also some hair ties and chapstick. I think I did have in here. I need to add it into it. Because your lips do get dry and then you of course need to have your hair up. So it's not all over the place. I might also put another pair of pants. Because if the ones that I'm wearing when I'm going to the hospital are clean, I'll just wear those. I don't want to be bringing too much things, like I said. And yeah, my husband will also be bringing a ba uh, backpack and he's going to put his stuff in there. It's just easier if he has his own bag and, you know, he knows where his things are. For him, he'll probably end up taking like two set of clothes, a couple pajamas, his work laptop, charger, socks, things like that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.